Welcome back to another episode of Banish. I think this is episode 5. And so far we're doing really good with our food. So let's just jump right back into this. Um, we got a trader coming in right now. Let's see what we could trade at the trader. Wool coats. Well, we don't really need them right now. So we'll just send the trader on his way. Because really and truly we don't have much. Um, I think last episode I was talking about how I needed more wood. And I started cutting them down. So hopefully I'm cutting more wood down. Um, the, the thing I wanted to build the most would have been a school. And you know we got a few really elder people out there. Because a school will make them collect more, I'm guessing, if I'm not mistaken, and be beneficial to our society that we're, we're slowly growing. So let's, let's actually start on that school. Um, I might need more houses because it looks like they're getting cluttered now, and like one or two people are just living <laughs> in certain houses now. Like old fuckers or farts, whatever you want to call them. Um, let's build like two extra houses. Let's see if we can move some people out. Even though we don't have the wood. So, and we got some stone workers that we put back. So that'd be pretty good. It's just kind of, uh, I've already deforested out here. Let me stop this so we can get the two houses in the schoolhouse built so we can get more people coming in tools are low um what we really do need is start worrying about getting coal not coal um iron going so we can keep making tools and keeping a good production of tools rolling out constantly so i mean if they can come out here to get this that stone let's cancel the stone Let's just harvest all this, and we want iron. There's a lot of iron out here. Let's see if they can come out here and get that iron. Uh, we just had somebody die from old age, and I think they got replaced, but I'm not 100% sure. Yes, they did. They got replaced, so that's kind of good. I might be wrong to build this school so fast, because we need more workers. We need a good amount of workers, we'll put it that way. And the schoolhouse will take away those workers, but it would benefit us in the long run. So we're going to halt on the uh, schoolhouse for now. And later on, we'll, uh, we'll build the schoolhouse here soon. Right now, I kind of have to focus on blacksmithing tools and um, building two new houses. Because like I said, these there's old fuckers in these, and... Whenever they die, then uh, somebody's going to move in. Hopefully, two new people are going to move in. And that would free up some of the house problems. I don't know. I mean, do you guys like living like really close? Like apartments? Like, I don't know. I I mean, I'd rather not be crowded. Like how these... There's only like three rooms left. And that's a crowd. But in, in, on top of that, it probably does not allow population to grow as much, neither. So that's like two bad things that happen. We're still good in food, so it would be really good for me to build two houses. Since, like I said, the golden rule is like 500. It might be more. It might be like 1,000 per house to have storage if you want to constantly keep building houses. Um... Another thing that I I particularly hear a lot of is that still with the wood, don't cut down your forest because you'll gain less food. Well, at this point, we got we got a good amount of food. We can kind of sacrifice a lot a good amount of trees to build up a good foundation for wood. Because I'm going to use a lot of it up for chopping firewood, and they're going to take a lot from the firewood into their houses regardless. So a good storage and good cutting of the wood would be really beneficial to me. So let's uh, let's actually increase the logs up to a thousand. 
and then the fuel can be up to 500 we're not really hitting the limit on the iron or the the uh, stone yet and it looks like we're going to have to increase our storage or stockpile place because it looks like we're getting pretty full on that one we're 43 percent which is not too bad but we're cutting a lot of wood and gaining more wood and stuff like that so it's a fight So we got one new house that's been built, and we have somebody that passed away. There's a forestry, and somebody already took it. So we got this house that freed up, and two new people moved in. A 23-year-old and a 14. <laughs> uh, we just built another one, so that this increases, you know, population growth for having more houses. Meaning more population means, you know, more people doing more jobs. Then again, you know, we're taking more food and, and firewood and stuff like that. So, it's a good trade-off in a way, but a bad trade-off. Um, we got a good amount of stone. We can just start hauling back over there. They're still clearing up over here, so... It'll be kind of good to start seeing this stuff clear up. We got two laborers, which the laborers just, you know, cut, move, and stuff like that. So it's it's always good to have a few laborers. And if somebody dies from old age or crushing rock, like there's there's an old age, yeah, that's good. Then that benefits too. Another thing I I was going to do is a graveyard. That's another thing we have to start looking into graveyard. I think a graveyard would be good like out in this area right here which would be more like I don't know why it's make it go that way but huh anyways um like right in this area it's too small there like a graveyard right there but we don't have enough I think stone I think it takes stone, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it takes stone. So we don't have enough stone in a way for it, but we're going to get there sooner or later to make some. Uh, town hall would be nice, but it's so expensive. So is a chapel. The hospital will be another good thing to have nearby the school. How big is it? It's pretty large. I could build it right there, and we'll just pause it for now until we get more build-ups. Um, hopefully, when this mine's done, I can fit two people in the mine, so I can start moving some. What's it called? Um, iron. Yeah, iron. I couldn't think for a minute. Iron over here, and then we'll make a path that way. Really and truly, I don't know what, like, the dirt roads are meant for. Because every time I make the dirt roads, they're just, like, no one uses them. At all. It's like, they do their own pathing. If somebody can, like, elaborate on that towards me, then that would be nice. But other than that, I just really don't see why I need, like, dirt roads. Okay, we got another one. We don't have enough for the, the corn, so we'll just dismiss some. I'm hoping here soon we can start planting, you know, fields, orchards, and stuff like that. The roads are easy to build, too. I mean, they, they don't cost any resources, so. But like I said, I don't, I never understood why, you know, NPCs need a road when... I mean, they don't even use a road, so... I mean, they might use it through the forest and might speed up. But other than that, I always see them like, Ah, fuck this path and just take another path there. I guess it's just like... A looking thing. This is, provides much fa uh, faster travel for citizens. And... I don't know. 
Like I said, like, look, they're like, fuck this, and they're just like, walk, well, I don't even have a road all the way through, so. But they're just like, going through right there, and like, they, don't, they just don't care. We'll just build a path like that and see. Uh, we got another one that died from old age. How much stone? We only need eight more stone. And then we can get like two miners going. Let's put two miners in there. I know, you know, really and truly, I don't need them like this instant, but it'd be nice to do. So, we're good in food. We're increasing in uh, firewood or fire resources, you know, fuel, whatever. We're getting tools back. Like I said, hopefully we can get this mine built. Once the mine's built, we'll just start getting tool tools galore going. And then after that, hopefully we can keep a stock of iron and other, you know, iron and stone going. Let's see if we can increase from this, or am I going to have to like build a whole new one? Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to build a whole new one. So, how far we go here? Far up, right here. Let's bring this down. How far can I go? Uh, let's go like right here. So they'll they'll destroy it, but that's more room. I just can't build any, any houses or anything over this way. What about the? See, it's perfect. It's not even in the way. <laughs> this is kind of in the way, but I needed another uh, barn, which both barns are almost filled with food. And coats, but no tools. I mean, <laughs> we're, we're low in tools, so it looks like we're gonna need another barn. So let's just build one extra barn for backup. So that's gonna take 16 stone, some wood, which we're not dying in wood. We need a few few stone over here. We need two more stone over there. So hopefully we can get this built and going so we can keep our tools building. And hopefully we can get another storage barn up so we're not like completely out of room. <laughs> Cause that's what it's going towards. We're going more and more towards we're running out of room. Like I said, eventually eventually I want to move all the way down in here and build a little city or town and it's either in here or I'm gonna drill through the mountain either through here and make a city this way in the mountain ranges so I can have like mines set up or all the way around here I'll have stone quarry set up over here and I'll have like farmland set up in this area farmland and orchards sitting up here so Everything will be trying to move in one centralized location and having like hunting gatherers and uh, yeah, hunters and gatherers close by the little little towns like this so they can keep food stock in there. But our main big city will be mainly gaining stone, coal, and um, iron. Because I mean, they're gonna burn through the coal and iron, uh, coal and firewood regardless. So. We're low in firewood. So we still need to constantly a cut of a tree, well, removal of trees. So let's try to keep removing more and more trees for more and more wood. Let's do the northern, some closer to the town. And it should work out a little better, cutting more trees. We got one fire woodcutter. I don't know if that's gonna be efficient still. But we hey, we need to upgrade here sooner or later, and we got the mine going. Oh no, it's almost completed. Where it's almost going. <laughs> like I said, that's gonna be a good tool saver right there. Just the mine constantly going and going and going. You know, I don't know how many people notice this. If you ever look at a can, and there's a U by it, I've always wanted to puncture that out and put a straw through it. At least a Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper's pretty big, and it looks like you can like push it with a straw. I don't know. 
never tried. I never thought about that. Side note. But, uh, it's almost done. Our mine's pretty much almost done. Let's add two more and one. Let's do one and one. That'll be better to deal with. Like I said, more houses mean more people, but more people mean more food, which, you know, kind of hard to keep up. Okay, now we got our iron production going now. But whenever, you know, we constantly have a good source of tools and iron and stuff like that, we'll be good. Cabbage seeds. I wish, but we, we don't have anything to give this poor man. I could trade food, but food's always important. So, uh, we'll just dismiss him for now still. Now for leather for food, yes, that, that'd be a good thing to grab is leather for food, so. And we're almost done with this barn. We got plenty of storage for uh, our people. There we go. Just like so. So we got plenty of the storage buildings. We got a good amount of food. And our city's thriving really well. And it, except tools. We don't have tools. We're, we're slowly getting the tools back, though. We got this mine production now, and we don't really have to destroy, go out there and destroy the rocks and stuff like that, which I, I still want to. I, I still want to, like, from here down, just constantly removing stuff, so I can, uh, start, I'm going to start building stuff like, uh, probably a farm. I'm going to do a farm down here first. I'm not going to move a big city in here or anything like that first, um... Because I got everything else going for now. But a farmland in the orchard would be good to mine out. Everything down here would be good mining out too. So so our storage is filled up. Okay, we got... This is 90%. That's 90%. That's 88. It's going down. We got another barn to fill up. So it's not bad at all. We got this. It's halfway filled up. And this is 10%. So we're, we're doing good... We're staying full of everything. Now it's just, like I said, the production of... Actually, let's open... Let's try to open the schoolhouse. Let's try to build a schoolhouse. But the, the production of iron is going slow, but slowly we're getting more and more tools to being built. Like I said, the more tools being built, the faster it goes. And once we get school going, we'll have smarter people that are going to be doing a hell of a lot better. Um, whenever I build a town, I'm, what, what I'm thinking about is I'm going to put the town hall with the city market. Or the city market. <laughs> the town hall in the center with the, the market in the center. With, like, I think boarding houses close by the town hall. And then I'll start circling houses around, or uh, I'll have the, I don't know. What, what's the best option do you guys think? I, I'm The way I think about it is, I'm going to put the market like, like here. Put the market here. And then put a town hall close to it with, say, the chapel, another book, store, just, you know, the stuff close like we'll just make like downtown right there and then we'll just start branching houses off from downtown the pub area the tailor a few blacksmith um you know just stuff like that and i don't have a i have the hospital ready to be built i just don't have medicine right now which later on i'll get medicine just for my people and see how that affects them see if it you know speeds up I really I know if they get sick they just go to the hospital and they're like eight times better but I don't know if it's a good idea to do at the start or not I've never really had that thing that portion of it and a lot of people are not happy I wonder why like I'm wondering like it I think one of the reasons is let me just grab this so it can stop is uh we don't have a graveyard which we don't have the stone for 
It's stone or iron. I think it's still stone, but we don't have enough for it in a matter of like minutes it's gonna be filled up. Let's see, um how much will it be? That's too big. Your cemetery's too large. Do like this. Is it it is stone, so we'll just pause this until we get a good amount of stone going. And let's still add more people. Stone's gonna be the most important, it looks like, because it's gonna take a lot here, which they're already carrying stone over there, which I I don't know. Actually, for that, let's trade them off. Oh yeah, new guy. So let's do that. Let's do five and five. Hopefully things will start getting better and we start getting more stone and iron. Because we do need tools. And it looks like half of this colony, most of the colony, need the tools. And I've just not produced enough fast, you know, enough mining, iron, whatever. Fast enough to make these tools, so. Hopefully we can speed up it and with this way and gain more. Because I think all the iron's going to the schoolhouse, so that's that might be one reason why we're not getting as many tools. But once the schoolhouse is done and over, we're probably going to get a lot of tools. We'll leave uh, three laborers. La laborers are coming out here and cutting a lot. So they're, they're doing good. They're carrying, cutting, and everything else uh, in between. We got good firewood going. We got good amount of wood. And more wood's coming in, guys. It's just like pouring in resources. The stone is starting to work its way up. Iron. We're still, iron seems like really slow doing. But we're still we're getting it. We're getting iron. Like, even the blacksmith is making tools with the iron. We just need We just need to put one iron in the schoolhouse. And after that, boom, it's done. Hey, we got some tools. Oh, for eight tools, how much? It will be... Oh, he has 10, 80. So for 20, it's 200. All 16, it's that much. So we're going to overpay him probably by two. There we go. And then we'll just carry leather up there and 16 tools for you know for our guys so that that would cover at least 16 people where i only need 20 tools all to get well i'm just saying 20 but it's less now we're going down we're like eight tools into where we need nine so he was a good good trader to have for tool wise Hopefully we'll get more iron stuff and we'll get our blacksmith start just welling and welling on it. We could start on the cemetery here soon. Because like I said, we're getting more and more stone. So it's, it's good. And there we go. Let's put a teacher in here. And now we got a teacher going. So now we got a good school that got built. Let's add two more up here. And let's unlock the cemetery, guys. We're going to start building a cemetery. But the cemetery has to wait until next episode. So, we got food. We got the fire. We got a bunch of fire wood. We have wood. We're getting a good amount of stone. Iron is slowly being produced. So, that's really good. We're making tool. We're going to make a bunch of tools, guys. So I think this is a good stopping for but uh, <laughs> stopping point for this episode. I'm hoping like we're gonna get into a big town, like a hundred people here in a few episodes. And if you enjoy this series, please hit a like, comment. I fixed my mic issues, hopefully. And um, if you have anyone else that's interested in banish or anything, please just like direct them towards this, like share it. And hopefully we can guy guys enjoy this and benefit from this. And until next time, peace.